Okay. Just a second. I do not know what happened, but StreamYard seemed to have lost. Um, <laughs> no problem, no problem. Yeah. Oh. Uh, whoops. What kind of problem do we have now? Uh, just a second. Let me message. Um, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I think we are live on YouTube. However, um, on one of our channels that we want to stream to, we are not live over there. But it's great. I mean, it's great having you today. So mm -hmm. let me just confirm that everything works on YouTube. Then um, we work up our audience and then have fun. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, just a second. Second, second, second. It's great. I mean, it's great having you today. Okay, so we are live today and we are on YouTube and also we are streaming live. And then we, we really, we, we are on Twitch as well. You can just watch us on the Global AI um, uh, website and also follow us on Twitter and everywhere. Thank you so much for taking our time to join us today. I'm here with Nadeep um, and a very good friend. Uh, hi, Nadeep. How are you? Hey, hi, I'm doing fine. <laughs> and th thank you for having me here. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Yeah. Um, so we would be discussing a very good um, topic, but I figured out that Nadeep is an MVP. Um, Nadeep, can you just share a bit of your journey with, you know, in 30 seconds, your MVP, you know, um, experience with us? Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm a recent MVP with, uh, Office 365 apps and services. And okay. uh, most of the time I work with um, SharePoint, AI, as well as Office 365. Mm -hmm. So I do like like, like to work with uh, SharePoint, but again, add some flavor of AI. So again, the coolest topic that we have is, is kind of mix of both. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're doing something on SharePoint and we're doing something on AI. Yeah. Right, right. That's amazing. That's amazing, and um, I'm sure I'm I'm really excited about this session. Um, I'm an MVP as well, and I'm a Microsoft AI MVP, and I'm really excited to have Nadeep here. We share much in common, and um, it's exciting. And I know the audience are going to take a lot away. Please, if you have any question, you can drop it and um, in the chat, and we will pick it up for Nadeep. So make sure you drop your questions there. Um, we would like to read it out. But for the time being, we're just going to go for a very short break, and then we'll be back with um, a video from the global AI community. So just seconds. Hey, my name is Afanshu Malik, and I'm from Melbourne. Texan Sobby with Bell here. Hi, I'm Alan Smith. Hi, I'm Amy. Amy, hey, I'm Patel. I come from Spain. I'm Prasant from California. Hi, I'm Lu Jianhui. You know my name, Long. I'm Alan Smith. Hi, I'm Jennifer Marsman from the United States. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Lopez from India. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Lopez from India. Hi, I'm Matthew Renton from the USA. I'm Joe Spizak from California. Hi, I'm Eddie Dowd from the United States. Hi, I'm Anna Fumana. Hi, I'm Turkey. I'm Darunyan. Hi, I'm Anna Fumana. 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 Hi, I'm Welcome again to the Global AI community. We are excited to have you and uh, to have our guest Nadeep today, who is going to share much of AI and SharePoint with you. So we believe you are going to take a lot away from this session. The video that's just played is about a global AI um, virtual on tour, which happened in April, but we are bringing it back again in October, which is just, I mean, a month away or something. Um, so not really far um, from today. So um, if you know anyone, who is very good and expert, and you love the way the person you know talks about AI and has a deep knowledge of sharing something or even inspirational parts of AI with the world. Um, we are giving you the chance to do it on the Global AI Virtual on Talk coming in October, early October. So expect it. Hey Nadi, thank you so much once again for joining us. And um, um, you're joining us from India, right? 
Yeah, I'm joining from Pune, India. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. What was the time there? Yeah, right now it is almost uh, dinner time at 36 p.m. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Um so today you'll be sharing a topic on AI and SharePoint. Just a very yeah. quick gist before you begin your presentation and everything. Um I mean, what should we anticipate? What should the users anticipate? Um, yeah, means mostly it's like uh, we, we use SharePoint as a um, content management system, but at the same time, content cannot be just uh, a content which is lying inside SharePoint, but you you can add some kind of an AI flavor which will help you to make sense out of your content. So this entire topic is uh, based on those discussions. So I have three cool demos which will help everyone to analyze their SharePoint content very much better. Amazing. So Nadeep is saying that yes, you have a content, but you know you need to make your content intelligent, and he's going to share with us how exactly we can do something like that. And I'm excited for this, you know, talk, and I can't wait to hear from Nadeep. And I I hope you can't wait to please um, invite your friends, invite your folks. This is everything on Azure. Thank you so much for joining us today. Nadeep, so I'll just let you take it away. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So hello all. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening from whichever part of the world you are joining us from. So uh, well, welcome to this session on using AI to classify SharePoint content with cognitive and sentiment analysis. I know the title is very much big, but I'm here to show you three cool demos which will help you to um, make a sense of your content irrespective of whether you are using it in a SharePoint or, or somewhere else. But since I'm from a SharePoint background who works with most of the content, but as we add some AI flavor to that particular content, uh, it, it gives us more sense, more information that we can uh, take out of it. Okay. So before we dive into the sessions, quick introduction of me, myself and the Deep Nathan. I'm from Pune, India, uh, mostly working with SharePoint, Office 65, Microsoft Azure, and started adding AI flavors to all of those, all of the work which I'm doing. Apart from that, I'm Microsoft MVP for Office Apps and Services, uh, Microsoft Certified Trainer. And again, uh, author of a couple of books uh, on SharePoint Framework and SharePoint Hybrid. On to the right hand side, here are a few social handles to get connected with me if you have any any uh, discussion to be uh, taken care of offline. All right. So the agenda for, for the hour is uh, we will quickly have a look of uh, Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services. Then we will uh, deep dive into Computer Vision API, Custom Vision Service, and Sentiment Analysis API, and how we can leverage those uh, APIs or services inside SharePoint, by which we'll be able to analyze our content very much better. So just to start with, um, what is mean by AI? So AI is all about uh, amplifying the human creativity with the uh, intelligent technology. So it is like uh, whenever we deal with any of the data around us, it is an imperfect data. So we learn from that data, we form the conclusions from that particular imperfect data uh, using some kind of an reasoning. And then we start uh, using that reasoning to understand that data better, including text, voice, or image. And, and then we start interacting with uh, that data in uh, some natural ways. So th this is uh, what is mean by AI. So whenever we try to define that uh, with Microsoft Cognitive Services, it gives us uh, wide opportunities to implement the AI. So these cognitive services include uh, very good services ranging from vision, which help you to uh, anal analyze the faces, then even speech uh, to analyze like what the speaker is want to say, what, what is the intent, then again, language, um, then knowledge, search to search across billions of web pages and then uh, we, we have few preview features which are in into the labs so there are various uh, cognitive services that that we can leverage but uh, we, uh, in this particular session we are going to focus on a few of those so in short what is mean by vision is uh, it is again kind of uh, from faces to feeling and allow your apps to understand images and video very much better so whenever we talk about uh, vision, so vision has got uh, many services uh, below it. So we have got computer vision API, which will help us to uh, detect uh, a few of the uh, tags or uh, maybe celebrities or uh, landmarks from, from, an, from an image. We, we have a face API to detect like uh, what are the emotions of uh, 
everyone so it would have been uh, good that for example if i would have uh, used that face api to see you and uh, Get, get the dimension of like uh, whether you are enjoying the session or not then again we do have a emotion api related to that and then again we have a content moderator which help us to uh, moderate the content and then we have a custom vision service which we can uh, use to specifically uh, customize our uh, uh, vision services and then we have a video indexer so there are a lot many beautiful features we have in vision but at least for this hour, we are going to uh, discuss on computer vision API and custom vision service, how we are going to use them and leverage their capabilities inside SharePoint. So just to start with uh, what is mean by computer vision API. So in a simple words, it help us to analyze an image. It help us to analyze the uh, content better inside that particular image. So the capabilities include like uh, OCR, optical character recognitions. So for example, if you have something written, you want to uh, get it converted to text, this particular service will help you. Again, it helps us to generate the thumbnails. So for example, if you have a bigger images, want to create a thumbnail out of it without uh, uh, losing any of the key content inside that particular image, you can use this particular API. But the beauty of this particular vision API um, or a computer vision API is um, while it is able to recognize the celebrities as well as it is able to recognize the landmarks. So similar kind of functionality we are going to use inside our SharePoint. So let's say for example, we have uh, this particular image, a man is uh, swimming uh, in this particular uh, image. So when, when we try to uh, give this particular image to computer vision API, what it can give us like uh, it can help us to identify like what are the categories that we have in this particular image so for example people swimming and we have a confidence confidence score of uh, 0 0.099 and then uh, it is also able to uh, give some more information like whether it is come some kind of an adult content or uh, what is the adult score of this particular image and then even from those images, we are able to make out the faces and from that face, we can uh, also analyze what could be the age of that particular person, gender, as well as uh, his facial coordinates. At the same time, even this particular vision API help us to uh, get the dominant background as well as foreground colors or even the dominant colors from that particular image. So uh, we, we are going to explore uh, many images as we upload those to SharePoint. Uh, again, we have one more uh, uh, one more example here, a cow standing in front of a fence. So whenever we give this kind of an image to uh, computer vision API, what it will help us to analyze uh, the categories is like, um, it, it is uh, very much sure that uh, there is some animal with score of 0 0.97. And then it is able to identify the other objects inside this particular image, like, um, grass and then this particular picture has been uh, taken outdoor there is a cow inside this particular image uh, this picture has been taken onto a field uh, there is a brown dominant color in this particular image and and then again a uh, few other things like uh, it, it is in uh, grassy background even someone is staring at you and each of this particular category has got a confidence score with it so a confidence score close to 100 or uh, 1 uh, is something like uh, you, uh, that particular vision API is able to identify the object more dominantly in this particular image. So we, we have this uh, confidence score ranging from 0 0.99 and even we have uh, some smaller confidence score that um, it is staring at you. But the good thing is that uh, it is able to get all those details towards. So once we have all those uh, categories all this or all these tags with us with those confidence score what we can do is we can uh, be able to come to one conclusion so for example with all of these tags which we are getting with each of the confidence we can easily conclude like a brown cow standing on top of a lush green field or even uh, with some other uh, mechanisms, we'll be able to describe a few other sentences. So we, we don't have to uh, go through each of the images, but what we can do easily is that we can just give this particular image to a vision API, and then that particular vision API will be able to uh, 
give us the tags which are dominant in that particular image at the same time from that we'll be able to make out a meaningful sentence which can describe that particular image so uh, next thing is that uh, let's have a look at demo of how we can create those computer vision api and then yes how we can use those in sharepoint so uh, let, let me go to my sharepoint sorry not sharepoint uh, my azure portal so here i already have uh, created one cognitive service but for example if you want to create a new um, cognitive api what what you can do is or let me duplicate this tab so that i will keep keep a track of uh, everything in uh, one resource group so as you click uh, new resource group here we have ai plus machine learning uh, this particular category is uh, majorly for artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities being offered by azure so here we do have uh, computer vision so once you click this computer vision uh, first thing is that you will have to select the subscription out of what you have uh, select any of the existing resource group or create a new one then select the region which is um, closest to you give the unique name for this particular computer vision api and then we have something called as a pricing tier so again we have uh, two flavors of pricing tiers one is uh, f0 that means free and then s1 which is a paid one if you want to go into the details of each of those pricing tiers you can click this link and uh, this will give us uh, all the capabilities that each of that tier has so here free that means uh, we can have uh, 20 transactions per minute and then um, as we go on with the paid instance we can get more capabilities so based on uh, for example if you just want to explore this uh, service maybe go with free but as you try to explore more capabilities inside this particular service uh, go ahead with uh, paid like s1 or um, yeah s1 is the only, only other option available so once you fill out this particular information your computer vision uh, service will be ready so this is how it will uh, look like so uh, i already have one created so let me open up that so okay it is still opening okay so i already have this uh, um, computer vision uh, api created and from here we'll be able to uh, make out most of most of it so for example if you want to try it out this particular uh, cognitive service what you can do is you can go to this api console and from this particular api console we'll be able to uh, uh, try out this particular computer vision api so as i said uh, computer vision api gives us more capabilities right from analyzing the images detecting the objects inside that particular image ocr and, and other things so what we are going to do today is uh, we will analyze the image so once i click analyze the image we will have to choose the uh, region where our uh, uh, api is i think my api is inside um, or oh, let me check it should be under central us yeah it is central us so you can choose that particular region so that you are testing your uh, api against that particular region so once we are here um, you can check your resource name you can add it over here so let me copy it from here okay and then uh, there are few visual features associated with this uh, service so we we can have uh, categories we can have uh, other content which we want to extract from from this particular service so for a time being we'll go ahead with tags so for example we want to get the tags from our picture so as like you saw the cow we are, we are going to uh, get uh, similar tags for each of the image that we upload so we have uh, tags there then uh, yeah tags is fine then in the details um, you can specify like what you want to uh, get, get the information of so for example if you want to analyze any any of the celebrities or landmarks so for time being let, let's go ahead with celebrities then again the uh, language you want to get the uh, results from so i am going with english and here is uh, important thing is like uh, this is the token or a key subscription key that you should include which which will help us to get authenticated against that particular service so we'll go back to my uh, service under keys and endpoints we can get the key from here i will not show my keys but i will just copy that key here and um, here is the key and then 
as we want to test it, this particular service, uh, we can pass the URL of any of the image. So there are two ways. Either we can uh, use a simple plain URL to be uh, um, to be passed on to this particular uh, service, or even we can upload a file and use that particular content to uh, analyze that particular image. So for this particular demo, we are going to use URL. So I already have one image with me. I don't have to explain who is he, but let's see like uh, what the computer vision API has, uh, has has got to say with this particular image. So we, we have pasted the URL to, to this particular uh, API. Again, one thing is that this has to be a public URL so that your um, API can reach out to that particular URL and try to extract the information out of it. So once it is here, we have our request uh, body set. We can just click send and it should be able to get us the result. So yeah, good that we, we have got 200 OK result. And now that we have this entire result with us. So it, it is able to identify that uh, category. So uh, with the score of 0 0.96, it is very much sure that the celebrity inside this particular image is Bill Gates and the confidence score is 0 0.97. Along with that, it has also given us a few other tags like uh, th there's some person with confidence score of 0 0.99. There's a human space, human face, clothing, microphone, man, glasses. So again, for example, if we go back to this particular image, you can see that uh, this particular image has got all those tags. So he's uh, Bill Gates, he's uh, wearing uh, specs, um, he, even he has a microphone attached to, to him. So all that kind of information has been uh, uh, has been uh, written by our computer vision API. So, okay, now this is good. L let's see like how we can use this particular thing in our SharePoint. So for that, let me uh, open up my SharePoint site. So I have one SharePoint site uh, ready with me and just a moment. Let it load. So SharePoint is majorly known for uh, the content management. So you can upload your content, your files, you can create your data. So as an example, we are going to use a simple document library inside this particular SharePoint site. And as we upload any of the image to this particular library, we want to get those tags with us so that later on we can use this particular tags to find out the images. So for example, I'm doing any, any one of my presentation, I want to get the pictures of horse. So in that case, I can just simply search for horse and it will return us, return me all of the images which contains that particular tag called as a horse. So as an example, even here you can see um, I, I have this uh, horse picture uploaded and uh, it has able to identify the horse, mammal, grass, outdoor and all those uh, tags along with this particular image. So what we are going to do now is uh, we will upload one image here. So I have a few good images here. So let's say we are going to uh, upload this car racing image. Let me click open and uh, the image is here. Now that uh, we want to get the tags for, for this particular image. So for that reason, we have something called as an Power Automate or earlier it was used to be called as a Microsoft Flow. So with this flow, what we can do is uh, we can get the content of this particular image from SharePoint. We can pass on that content to uh, our uh, Cognitive Service API, which is running here. And that particular uh, Cognitive Service uh, or Cognitive uh, API can return us the tags with all of the confidence score what we have. And then we are going to process those tags and keep it inside our uh, uh, image. Or oh, sorry, uh, we are going to attach that to our image. So the flow has run already and it has it, it was able to uh, analyze all those tags. But let us go into uh, the flow. So uh, here we I have a flow called as computer vision. So let me open up that. So this is a very simple flow. Maybe I will not go into more details of this particular flow, but it is a simple like whenever any of the file that gets loaded to my shared documents, which is this library. So I I'm using this analyze image, which is still in preview, but this is the uh, 
activity which is available which will help us to get the uh, or connect to our uh, computer vision api and get the results so we are connecting to our computer vision api and then we are passing it to passing to it the uh, image content and once the image content is passed uh, that particular cognitive service will uh, process that particular image and it will return us the tags so all of those tags will are written to us and with this parse json we will just parse that particular uh, data so in short we, we just have uh, the tags with some confidence score and once that confidence score and tags are written we are going to uh, join those tags together and put that information back to sharepoint site which we are able to see it here so let's say for example if we upload one more image um, maybe uh, this marathon image and run it here or maybe have it here let me go back to my uh, yeah okay so here you can see that uh, in, in some time this particular flow will trigger it will pick up that particular image from my sharepoint library it will send the content of that particular uh, image to the uh, cognitive api which is running in azure and then um, that particular api will return us these tags which we will again send back to SharePoint and update it here. So let me still check whether it is running now or not. Okay, it is not yet run. Okay, all right. Sometimes in the demo, it, it doesn't work as expected, but not an issue, we can go to edit and then we will try to run it manually. So as we run it manually, it will pick up the last updated content here, which is my image. It will analyze that particular image now that flow has triggered it is running now it should pick up that particular image send it to uh, uh, the azure for uh, cognitive um, apis it has got the result and it has updated the file properties so now if i come back here yeah we, we are able to get all those tags like person building other things so th this is how we can use this uh, cognitive api along with sharepoint because in, in a SharePoint on a daily basis, we keep on adding uh, most of the content in the form of images. But at the end, when, when we try to get the meaningful images, for example, if we have those uh, tags attached to our uh, file, we'll be able to get them very easily. So, so this is how you can use the AI inside uh, SharePoint content to uh, analyze your images better. And later on, even you can uh, add some kind of a filtering so that you will be able to uh, analyze uh, or get only the images which are needed okay so that was about uh, using the computer vision api inside sharepoint but at the same time it is not just limited to sharepoint if you have any of the dotnet application created in c sharp uh, language in that case even you can also use this particular api so you can just uh, create the vision service client uh, object uh, just mention the features you want to use and then uh, you, you can uh, give a call to that uh, api which will return you all of the tags which are associated with that particular image and here you can um, do some meaningful uh, processing of that particular data based on the tags which are read, being written by the uh, cognitive services so this way even you can use this with your dotnet application for example, uh, if you are using any of the JavaScript based application, maybe running on a Node.js, even in that case, you'll be able to uh, get advantages of uh, computer vision API. So this is the similar code, which uh, we can use by uh, specifying the URL to our uh, computer vision API. It can return us all of the tags and we can then again process those particular tags. So I use uh, this example along with uh, Power Automate or Microsoft Flow. But for example, if you are from a .NET framework background or .NET or any of the JavaScript background, even you can uh, use this uh, computer vision API in your applications. So uh, for example, if you want to uh, explore more onto this co cognitive services, here are a few references that you can use. Uh, next thing is that we, we have uh, something called as a custom vision service. So the uh, Computer Vision API, which we saw earlier, it offers uh, services to detect the commonly known objects. So for example, when you upload an Im upload an image of a car, it will correctly identify it as a car. However, in uh, circum 
so certain cir circumstances uh, you want to identify few objects or scenarios uh, with computer vision api uh, does not recognize so this custom vision apis becomes hand handy in those kind of scenarios so for example if you want to uh, specifically find a few of your custom images so let's say you have a big inventory and from that inventory you want to find uh, maybe few of the tools like hammer uh, screwdriver and, and other things so in that case you can upload those custom uh, images to your com custom vision api you can train your custom vision api to identify those uh, um, those images based on the tags which you apply and then you can evaluate um, your custom vision api maybe through some kind of an rest api calls and then you keep on training those uh, custom vision api and use across your applications so so let's see like uh, with an example like how, how we can use it so again custom vision service is uh, easy to use a tool for prototyping improving and uh, deploying custom image classifier to your cloud services so again this uh, custom vision api is uh, pre-trained by microsoft but again on top of it you can um, upload your own images and train those custom vision api so as an example let's say we, we want to train our uh, model for analyzing uh, cats and dogs so what we can do is we can upload multiple images of cats multiple images of dogs and then we can um, train our custom vision api to analyze like for example if you see something like this then this is a cat if you see something like this then this is a dog and then on then using this you will build your own model which will help you to analyze uh, your content um, customizedly okay so what, what is mean by custom vision api is uh, in a nutshell you have your uh, own images again on top of it microsoft has already uh, uh, given some intelligence to this custom vision api to identify the common objects but again you can train those custom vision api or service uh, to recognize your own objects so let's say uh, we, we have one example where, where we will see this but you keep on uploading the images uh, of your own uh, territory then you uh, add the labels to those particular images once you have all those labels with you you train that particular model so that uh, that particular model will be able to analyze uh, the label based on what kind of a training you are providing and then at the end we'll be able to evaluate those by using some simple rest api calls okay so uh, let, let's uh, see like how we can do this so again let me go back to my azure portal let me close the things which we don't need now so again in the azure portal if you uh, search for custom vision from here you will be able to uh, create the custom vision api okay so once we create that custom vision api it has got two things one is training and prediction so training that means you will use that particular uh, uh, capability to train your models and the prediction you will use into the uh, live environment to uh, judge your uh, training okay like, like um, what, what could be the uh, tags or what could be the uh, prediction based on uh, the images which you are providing so again it is the same thing you can uh, provide the training resources prediction resources and once uh, it is done this is how it will look like so we we have this uh, custom vision created so this has provisioned two things here one for training and one for prediction so we have this one resource being created for training purpose and this uh, resource being created for the prediction reason so let's let's go to this uh, prediction one so in the prediction again you can define the uh, target location and other thing and now that we, we want to uh, train our custom models for using this uh, api so what we can do is uh, we, we can click this custom vision portal so this uh, custom vision uh, portal is different but connected to microsoft azure at custom dot vision sorry custom vision dot ai so you just have to click sign in so that uh, you will get authenticated with the uh, same uh, account which you have been used for logging to the azure okay and now that we, we have our uh, project here so here we can keep creating our projects 
and then uh, we can use the use those for 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 the beta predictions so i already have uh, two projects created but let's go into the depth of like how we can create the project what is mean by domain uh, and, and other things so whenever we um, create a new project so the project is called as a classifier. So once you click uh, new project, we can specify the name, description, resource from where we are coming in from. And then uh, we, we have got uh, two things. So first thing is uh, classification and then we have object dis uh, detection. So classification, that means uh, we can have uh, tags attached to each of that uh, uh, image and then object de de detection. That means uh, from an image, we want to detect any of the object. And then again, we have uh, classification types. So we have a multi-label here. That means we can apply multiple tags per image uh, or maybe you can have a single tag per image. So in this particular um, demo, we are going to use multi-class so that we can attach a single tag per image. And then there are a few predefined domains like general, food, landmark, retail, which are uh, specifically designed for those kind of a scenario so for example whenever we look at uh, images from a food domain so even th th those, have, those have got uh, some kind of an ambience lightning on top of your food so this um, domain or this food domain is being specially trained for those particular instances so for example if if i upload an um, image of some some food with some kind of an ambience and lightning so this, this that will nullify that particular effect and it will mostly concentrate onto the food same thing for landmark and, and retail so based on what kind of uh, domain you want to evaluate your model on you can choose this particular domain so for our uh, demonstration purpose we, we are going to keep it simple and we will use general or again for example if you are in doubt um, always go for general okay so um let me close this down okay so this is how we will create our project so i already have one project created which we are going to use but um, let, let's uh, look into it in uh, some some time so firstly that what is mean by a classifier so classifier is a model you built using custom vision service uh, by using few training images so classifier here means a project so whenever you create a new project that that is mean by a classifier so again, we, we have those uh, domains which we discuss, which are optimized for food, landmark, retail and adult. So based on what kind of an content you want to analyze, you can choose your domain. Then uh, we, we have something called as training images. So once we create our classifier or a project, we should upload the images by applying a tag to each of the image. So it could be a single tag. Or tag or multiple tag based on what kind of a project we created and then based on that particular tag which is associated to that particular image we will train our model and once we train our model uh, it will create an iteration so let's see like uh, in a practical how it looks so i have created uh, one classifier or a project called as uh, marvel recognizer so you, um, most of you must be a fan of Marvel's characters. So I specifically chosen uh, three characters here, Superman, Spider-Man and Captain America. So we have been uh, seeing all those characters uh, since our childhood. But the reason for choosing these three characters is like uh, all of these three characters, they wear same color uniform. So even if you, if, if you have a look at Superman, Spider-Man or Captain America, they always wear a uniform of red and blue. So for us as a human being, it, it is very much uh, easy to recognize that particular uh, character by, by looking at it because we, we have been uh, we have been trained from our uh, childhood to recognize those characters. But for, for a computer vision API um, or this custom vision API, uh, this will be a bit tricky because it is just um, some color with some kind of an uh, shading background or, or other things by which it has to uh, apply some logic and uh, return us like what, what kind of an uh, object it is. So um, here we can define our tags. So I have defined three tags. One is Superman for tagging the images of Superman, then Spider-Man and Captain America. So what we can do is we can create those tags ju just by typing here. 
uh, it, it will be done and then we can just click on add images so once we click on add images uh, what, what we can do is um, we, we can add few more resources or few more images to our uh, yeah to, to our project so let me add so here i have uh, i'm uploading an image of uh, spider-man let me uh, okay so once you apply the tags here it will automatically give the tags which you have already applied at the same time we have uh, one tag called as a negative so this negative tagging that means uh, inside your image even if you have a few other things so let's say for example you, you want to train your model for a shirt then shirt might have some logos and you want to uh, take away those uh, logos while the uh, custom vision api is considering uh, it it for a tag so in that case you can use those as a you, you can upload the uh, that particular logo image and use it as a negative so that it will negate out that effect or that particular logo from the images which are being uh, identified by this custom vision api so since we have uploaded this uh, spider-man we will tag it as a spider-man and we'll click upload a file so once we upload the file okay this is a duplicate but let me try some other image that that i have okay let me try with this spider-man and upload a file okay so the up image has been uploaded successfully and this particular image has got a tag of uh, spider-man so once we upload any of the image uh, what we are doing is that we are uh, giving some more intelligence to our system so that means we'll have to train our uh, model again so that whenever there, is, there will be something of this particular sort this is a spider-man so for that reason we should click uh, train here and again in the training we, we have uh, two types one is a quick training and then we have a advanced training quick training that means it will just um, analyze those images as we have uploaded based on the labels which are applied and uh, it will finish of the training in the advanced training we can still go into the more customizations mode but again uh, advanced training takes up to 24 hours to finish and since it takes uh, 24 hours to finish it is paid so uh, as we are talking about this uh, training and advanced thing uh, i just want to again uh, look back or fall back to the pricing model of this particular custom vision api so the pricing model for custom vision api is something like we, we have a separate environment for uh, prediction and separate for training and this pricing is uh, something like the pricing for the prediction goes per thousand tra transactions and then the pricing for training goes uh, per compute hour and again there is a cost associated with the images because at the end we are storing those images inside this uh, custom vision api so the image storage is a price per thousand images so based on thousand images uh, you, you will get charged so uh, to just keep this very much simple we will go with the quick training and click train so it will uh, train our images uh, okay Great. so amazing so um that is nadeep and today taking you on um sharepoint and also how you can you know bring ai on it and so far it's been so great and we hope you're enjoying it if you have any question just leave it in the chat all right and nadeep would tend to you i'm actually enjoying the session looks everything looks so simple because nadeep has really made it um so easy to understand thank you so much nadeep um yeah so if you have any question Leave it in the chat. We would answer it in about 10 minutes time. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Yeah, thank you. All right. So uh, as we keep on training this, uh, there, there will be iterations that will get created. So uh, uh, the more number of iterations that we have, the more number of uh, uh, refrain training what you will have for your classifier. Uh, th there are two more things which uh, I want to uh, concentrate on to this um, training part. So, for example, if I move back here, if I go to the um, performance. Okay, so here we have something called as a precision, recall and AP. So what are those values are? So the precision, that means uh, when we cl classify an image, how likely it is uh, you're classified to correctly classify that particular image and recall that means out of the images that we have uh, given to our classifier how many of which um, the classifier was able to identify correctly so th this may be sound confusing but um, we'll take a simple example so 
we, let's say we have uh, six images here, three images of cat, three images of a dog. And let's say out of the set of images um, that, that we have, uh, we, we give uh, one image to this particular uh, classifier. And then uh, let's say that particular classified classifier has um, identified that this particular image uh, as a dog. So in that case, we will have precision of 50% because three out of six images has been predicted correctly. At the same time, we will have a recall of 67% because two out of three dogs has been predicted correctly. So this is mean by precision and recall. Like how many uh, images predicted correct correctly as well as uh, how many of those uh, exact set of images has been uh, predicted correctly. Okay. Then again, you can train, test your model uh, by, by going to a simple test. So you can click quick test here. Uh, here you can uh, at least upload the image as well as you can browse the local files. So let's say um, we, we want to try out uh, like how, how does it work? So let's say I upload this image of uh, someone. Let's see like uh, what this has uh, predicted. So now that it has correctly identified this as a Superman. So let's take some kind of a complex scenario. So we, we have uh, we, we have a Spider-Man here, but at the at the same time he is holding a shield of uh, Captain America. So let's uh, try to give uh, this particular image. So now that uh, this is saying that it is 61.4% confident that this is Captain America, but at the same time um, our model thinks that it could be spider-man with probability of 38.5 percent because uh, the structure is kind of an spider-man so in this kind of circumstances we should upload this image again to our uh, model and we should train him that even though he sees the shield of uh, captain america in the hand of uh, someone who is a uh, spider-man then he's a spider-man okay so th this is how we can train our model and make it very much better so on the same ground we have uh, created something uh, in a sharepoint I have uh, Marvel's library here. Again, we have the uh, flow, which is running in the background for this particular uh, um, library. So let's say we upload an image here. So in, in the uh, SharePoint library, we, we keep on adding few of the images and we want to um, see like uh, what, what kind of an image that is. So let's say we upload uh, maybe this image or do I have this image? No, I don't have. So, okay, we will upload this particular image and we, we will just upload the image, but we will uh, make it to the uh, custom vision API to say like which kind of an image it is. So in the background that uh, flow should run and then it should be able to identify the image, but okay, the flow hasn't run. Sometimes it takes more time to execute the flow, but what we can do is uh, I will edit the flow and I will run it manually so that we will save some time instead of waiting for that flow to trigger. So in a shorter time that flow should trigger, it should be able to pick up that particular image, pass on that particular image uh, to the uh, custom vision API, get the prediction and upload our file properties. So if I go back here, refresh this, we should uh, see that this one is a Superman. Okay. So what we can do as an end user of um, SharePoint is that we, we, we will just upload the image to our SharePoint and then uh, we will leave, our, leave it up to our uh, computer vision API or sorry the custom vision API to predict that particular image and then we can uh, make it uh, useful afterwards. So th that was that even you can uh, train this model train this in a cloud and run it uh, anywhere you want in the Azure or even in the Docker or um, or, or any anywhere else. Okay, so again, just to improve the classifier, uh, the better you get the precision and the recall values, it is good. So try to take uh, upload more images for your uh, um, for your uh, labels. At, at the same time, try to uh, have the images with uh, varied backgrounds, which will help you to uh, improve your classifier. So that was uh, about this custom vision API. In a quick, I, I want to uh, get to this text analytics. So the text analytics by its name says that uh, with this we'll be able to uh, uh, get the sentiments, key phrase extraction and language detection. So for this particular demo, we are going to keep it simple with sentiment analysis. So what is mean by sentiment analysis is like uh, getting the emotion of uh, anyone, what he want to say. So 
the again uh, score will range between 0 to 1 0 that means a negative sentiment 1 that means a positive sentiments so let's go into the demo directly just to save the time so again here um, you can click uh, new resource ai plus uh, machine learning and you can click text analytics to uh, get to the text analytics so i already have uh, text analytics created here um, sharepoint user feedback so this is the text analytics uh, what what i have let me close out the other things okay so again, uh, you can go to this console and uh, run or test this particular uh, API, but we will not probably use that, but we will try to directly use it from our SharePoint itself. So for that purpose, I will go to my uh, list that I have created user feedback. So this is the place where we, we want to get the feedback from our user. So let's say, for example, even the feedbacks could come from Facebook, Twitter or, or, or any uh, any other uh, media platform. Uh, and we are adding all those uh, feedbacks to our SharePoint list. So for that, I will just click uh, new. And let's say session feedback. So let's say I will assume that you like the session and you, you will say session is excellent. And this is, a, this is the normal feedback that we want to give to our uh, user. We'll click save. And with this, we'll be able to identify like what is the sentiment of what that particular user wants to say. So again, maybe I can rely on to uh, flow to run. But just to save the time, again, I will go back to this user feedback here and run this manually. So what it will do is uh, it will extract the content from uh, my SharePoint list, which is over here. And then it will pass all that text from my SharePoint list to this uh, cognitive uh, service, which is text analytics API. It will get uh, the sentiment from that particular uh, service. And then once we have got the sentiment uh, from, from that service, we will uh, return it back to SharePoint. So now that we, we have this sentiment, uh, which is a positive sentiment, uh, which has got score of 0 0.94. So that particular score has been reflected. So th this kind of an uh, scenarios you can build in SharePoint. Let's say, for example, you, you just want to uh, have a list created wherein you want to get the feedback from the user directly or from any of the other systems. And um, you can pass on that feedback to your uh, text analytics API, which will help to detect the uh, sentiment from there. And then um, you, you'll be able to uh, judge like what the uh, end user want to say, what are the sentiments positive or uh, negative. And for example, if you want to um, deep dive more into this uh, text analytics, here are a few of the useful resources. And yeah, I think that, that was all. Thank, thank you very much. And uh, there are very much capabilities being uh, delivered by Azure in, in terms of AI using cognitive services and, and other things. But at the same time, even we can use those inside uh, SharePoint or Microsoft 365 or Teams, whatever platform which you, we are using. And it will take away the uh, manual burden of analyzing the content and it will help us to define our content uh, very much uh, actively. All right, so Amazing. thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, this session has been really great um thank you so so much nadeep i mean this was explained in a very simple way so anyone could just start that with you know sharepoint and also um ai using you know the cognitive services it's so amazing and how nadeep explained everything from you know start to finish and we are so excited about the session and we hope you are too um make sure that you like this session and then comment out and reach out to nadeep on twitter that's his handle and that's his um, um, LinkedIn handle as well. I really enjoyed it, Nadeep. And yeah, thank, um, you. thank you. It's great how you managed to, you know, talk about all this in just a short while. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Amazing. So stay right here with us. Stay tuned. And um, if you know anyone who is good at giving, you know, talks, um, we are coming up with Global AI on Virtual Tour in october make sure that you invite a person to apply on the global ai dot i think um global ai dot community website um we are super excited um about it's coming up and we are 
so much grateful to Nadib for joining us today and to you for also listening to us. Please um, tag Nadib and then um, reach out to him if you have any question. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for this opportunity. Hope th this was helpful. <laughs> thank it you. was amazing. It's really helpful. And I'm going to watch this over and over again. Thank you so much. I mean, just because I love it, I'm just going to watch it over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. It, it, okay. it awesome. Bye, everyone. Hey, my name is Akansha Malik, and I'm from Melbourne. Jackson Sobby with Val here. Hi, I'm Alan Smith. Hi, I'm Amy. Hey, Amy, I'm Cat. I come from Spain. I'm Prasant from California. Hello, I'm Lu Jianhui. My name is Long. I'm Rafa Kazi from Australia. Hi, I'm Jennifer Marsman from the United States. Hi, I'm Lucas Agupta from India. Hello, I'm Manu Pujara. Hi, I'm Matthew Rinton from the USA. I'm Joseph Isaac from California. Hi, Midi Abi Daoud. And we are out. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you very much. It, it was it was very nice presenting. Thank you for having me yeah. here. <laughs>